KTSM 9's Mutt Mondays, sponsored by the Animal Services of El Paso. As it turns out, actually, it is never too late to teach an old dog new tricks. This is National Train Your Dog Month here in January. Because of that, we're providing uh, some tips on what else but training your pets. Julia Newbold and Red joining us for some uh, tips on making sure that your pets behave in 2023. <laughs> uh, I always thought you had to train them as a puppy and that was it. Then they're just set in their ways, but not always the case. Yeah, not always. Dogs are definitely much smarter than we think that they are. They're definitely <laughs> still capable of learning even if they're past the puppy phase. Yeah. Um, so definitely never too old to, to, never too late to teach your dog new tricks. I think they're smart enough to realize what they can get away with, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> even if they know what the right thing to do is. Yeah, exactly. Some of them maybe have learned um, bad behaviors yeah. growing up, but you can definitely reverse that um, those behaviors by uh, positive um, reinforcement by teaching them um, training techniques using treats. Dogs usually are very, very responsive to treat training, so mm -hmm. um, it's good to kind of find what treats your dog loves. Um, not ones that they have all the time, but ones really? that are kind of special that are just for training. So that way they know, like, hey, if I listen to what they're telling me to do, I'll get a tasty treat out of it. Do they get bored if you just give them the same thing over and over again and just don't listen anymore? Or? Yeah, they kind of expect that they're going to get it anyways, even if they're not listening to you. So yeah. definitely finding the right treats um, does the trick. Also, just having patience, um, really just having patience with them and knowing that, um, you know, it's not going to happen overnight. You're, constant kind yeah. of training will definitely help them learn how to you know learn those new tricks that you want to teach them and just like a human or a child in school they can get tired or bored with the instruction mm -hmm. so don't go too much in the first couple of days yeah definitely go go slowly and um, kind of watch out for certain behaviors that your dog might be exhibiting such as yawning or lip licking or lifting their paw it'll kind of show that hey I'm already kind of tired of this let's do something else now and you can save it for another day uh, Red is yawning right now. I hope it's not because he's tired of me. <laughs> what do we need to know about Red here? So Red, he's a very sweet um, Australian cattle dog. Very <laughs> smart too. He's been with us unfortunately since June, so he's mm. definitely ready to go to his forever home. Um, but as you can see, he is a big cuddle bug. He's happy just being right next to you getting cuddles and he'll, <laughs> he'll just chill there all day. <laughs> and if people are hoping to adopt somebody like Red, where can they go? So if you go to um, our main shelter, we have at 5001 Fred Wilson. We're open there every day from 11 to 6. We also have our Mission Valley Adoption Center that's open from 12 to 5 every day. And then starting on the weekends, we'll also have our Cats at the Zoo location open again. We're going to be open there from 10 to 4, Friday through Sunday. We also still have our gift card promotion going on. So if you adopt mm -hmm. a dog like Red, you get a $100 gift card to use towards any um, supplies or treats you might need. Um, as well as cat adoptions, you get a $50 gift card for them. All right. I don't think Red needs too much training. It's pretty well behaved to me. <laughs> Very well behaved. I don't know about shake and roll over and all that, but uh, <laughs> well behaved to me, definitely. Uh, Julianne and Red, thank you so much. We'll be right back, so stay tuned.